Hey guys, how we doing? Nate over here, farm manager, rooted ag. Doing a quick little video of where we got the cattle moved back onto and what we're working on here today. So as you can see, got the two tank water system fired up again. And I'll walk over there and show that really quick with regular water and then salt brine mixture here. Um, what we're doing, hi is we have roughly separated these things uh these new paddocks into about two acres and i say roughly uh we walked it out but because of where we're gonna have to put a water there and a water there uh we got to kind of angle in in these next um corridors kind of just leading to uh the waterway anyways so what we're doing as you can kind of see here is we did put down some seed we had this droned in with a perennial cool season pasture mix um, and what we're trying to do is we got a couple different things we're working on here but one is to see if we can get animal impact to help put that seed down and kind of checking and seeing the results of animal impact area versus not so they'll be in this cell or paddock however you want to call it for about two days then they'll move over into this one for two days we did give them a little bit of hay that we've got left just to unroll it and then um over here is where they'll go for the final two days so there'll be a total of six days in this little rotation and if you can see um this fence line right here is roughly half from that tree line to that tree line. So what we've done to test is we are going to test. Now this is all back through where we did bale graze in the winter. Like I said, we seeded in on March 9th using a drone. So we're doing animal impact for six days to see how that seeds it in versus this area to the west of these temporary fences where we are just gonna leave it alone and see how um, it responds. So excited to see what's going on. They're in about roughly two acres and they're gonna get two acres per two days. So um, they got moved in today, which is Wednesday. They'll get moved into this one where I'm standing in here Friday. And then they'll go into that last one on Sunday. So. Really excited to see kind of what the results show down the road. I will log all this data and what we are testing on the Rooted Ag platform so that I can track and follow those results and um, know the outcomes. One of the things too that I will talk about here briefly is when we were bale grazing, we were going um, east and west, which is this. This we have changed and we are going long and narrow paddocks running north and south to help um, get them kind of just that flow to help get that seed in there a little better hopefully that is the goal anyways so I'll walk through here but you can kind of get an idea of just kind of how width the pasture is so and they've got a little bit of hay in this one we kind of just slowly taking that out as we get going but um, down with the next paddocks that we move into as you can kind of see that's how much space they have we're hoping to get a lot of good back and forth north south traction out of the animals as they walk back and forth between here um, and I say here I mean the water point and then they've got more shade kind of back down there on the south side so really excited to see these results and how it will impact this ground and recovery we've got like i said we're doing six days out here and then hopefully at that point we'll be able to start strip grazing um, some area where we put down some rye last fall so that's all i've got for today if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment 
and we'll be sure to get to you.